Hey, Olegus Malimus Killimus. Hey, Ridiculous Maximus Simpilius. Have you seen Gullagus Maximus? No, but I saw Mr. Bus Grillabantamoxisma. Really? I believe he's gone AWOL. <laughs> Speaking of drums, and yes, Sam, I'm gonna do it. Do not nag me about it. Anyway, I found out that you can die of lack of sleep faster than you die of lack of food or water. How do you die of lack of sleep? Well, I mean, I guess if you fell asleep and you fell onto some heavy machinery or something and, I don't know, you died because of that? No, if you, if you fell, look, look, look it. If you, if you fell asleep and, and you fell into the, to the, into a machine or you were driving and you had an accident, that's not dying of lack of sleep, that's an accident. That's an industrial accident and you get work, and your family gets workman's comp. But it's no dying of lack of sleep. You're dead, but not from lack of sleep. No, but what if, what if you were captured by the enemy or someone and they just, they tortured you. They put sticks in your eyes to keep them open and, and they, and they, um, they zapped you every time you fell asleep. Then you would die of lack of sleep. Uh, all right, all right, there you go again. That's not dying of lack of sleep either. That, you know what that is? That, what you just described, that scenario, that hypothetical, that's murder. <laughs> what, are you going to go to the judge and say, Oh, your honor, he died of lack of sleep. And the judge is not going to say, Well, if he took the sticks out of his eyes and stopped zapping him with electricity, he wouldn't have died. No, that's murder. You cannot die of lack of sleep. What is it, dude? Oh, get tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm dead. Look, look how dead I am. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> hey, Comicus Bootstrapius Maximus. Hey, funniest, doofiest, lucrudius. Hey, Comicus, you owe me 22 cistercians. Don't have anything on me right now. Can I write you a check? I'll take a check this time. What's this? What are these squiggles? Uh, Roman numerals 22, uh, uh, uh X, I, I. Hey, there's no date on this thing. Uh, okay. Um, uh, 216, November 3rd, BC. What's BC? Uh, BC, right? Uh, you don't know anything about CBC. Uh, uh, hey, Funnius, who's the emperor? Emperor? We're still in the Republic and we'll be for another couple of hundred years. Oh, right. Oh. Uh. If we're in the Republic, how do you know how long it's going to be until there's an emperor? Are you a time traveler? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, so I was reading this book. It's about Anne Ryan. She was a philosopher in the 20th century, and her philosophy said that selfishness was good and that it would lead to a better society. What? Selfishness is good? All for me, none for you. If you say that's a philosophy, I'm all for it. Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Sounds like a song, but if you say it's a philosophy, that's my kind of philosophy. Wow! Uh, another one of her philosophies is that ducks are the worst lowlife of all animals and they're worse than worms. What? What do you think whoa, about that? Whoa, huh? no, wow, wow. Show me that in the book. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it.
believe it at all. Where's that in the book? philosophies is that she thinks that lying and being mean is pretty good too, you know? I'm dead.